All right, so the last of the tools on our toolbar are some uh, pretty simple ones. Match over frame range does exactly what you expect it to do. Um, you select the limbs that you want on the side, enter a frame range, and choose whether or not you want the FK controls to match what the IK is doing or vice versa. And just like on the import motion tab, you can choose how uh, you want, whether or not you want the IK legs to solve foot roll and knee vectors. We have CV scale. This is a very simple tool. All it does is uh, say, because the rig is auto generated, sometimes, especially not so much with the main controls, but uh, any extra controls that get created by, um, say if you added a ponytail, um, sometimes those controls might be too big, or maybe you just want, you know, I just want to be able to select my elbows and I'm having a hard time, they're too small. So you can just scale up your controls like so. Um, pretty simple uh, tool to use. And then lastly, we have our visibility. Now, just clicking on this is going to hide our currently active character's controls. However, if you right click, we have some other options. We can generate ISO selection sets. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to look at our character and it's going to figure out what each vertex is weighted to. Um, bone-wise, and then we'll be able to start isolating aspects of our mesh. This is really useful for when you want to do, um, you know, the, the kind of the classical animation uh, where you hide all the, the parts except for just the torso so you can do your torso arcs and so on and so forth. So this will allow you to do that. So if we go back, right-click again, you can see that we now have options for torso, left arm, right arm, leg, and head. Um, and there's two isolation methods. There's classic, which is about the same as going and selecting faces and going to show isolate view selected. Or there's material, which is my preferred choice, which is actually going to assign a transparent material uh, onto those faces temporarily. Now, um, this mesh is already fairly segmented, so you know it's actually not that big of a deal. But on a more congruent mesh where it's all watertight, um, this can be this uh, material method can be very useful. You get a much smoother looking result. So let's say we just want to view the torso. We can turn the left arm off and turn the right arm off. And the left leg and the right leg. Now we can just view what our torso geometry is doing. And if the controls are bothering you, just go to list view and turn off your left arm, right arm, finger, and let's see, right leg, left leg. And now you can just see your torso controls and your torso geometry. That pretty much wraps up all of the tools on our toolbar. And uh, for more detailed information, take a look at the documentation where everything is um, clearly spelled out and uh, probably the size of a textbook. So we can go ahead and say show all. And we can do Get all our controls visible again. But that's about it. Thank you so much.